Hello and welcome to a new series of video about automation. We talked about control systems, we talked about control systems without feedback, we talked about control systems with feedback, yeah, we talked about the realization of control system, we talked about primatic control system, hydraulic control system, electrical control system, we talked about PLCs, we talked about uh, measurement devices, we talked about, yeah, and now we come to the point where all those stuff is concentrated into one automation system. Okay, now we want to get this under one hood. Yeah, now we want to make make it one piece. Yeah, make an automated system. How this is designed, how this looks like. Yeah? First of all, we are going to talk about, and probably for you once again. Yeah? about the hierarchical system of a control system, yeah? of the hierarchical things, yeah? how it is built. Yeah? We, I think you probably already heard that a control system is usually built up hierarchical. If this is really true 20 years from now, we are going to see. Yeah? But right now, it is the case. So. What are those levels? Eh? Well, of course, it's not that. It's not clear. Eh? It's not clear because there are different definitions out there and so on. I just want to show you the principle, yeah? not to pick out one definition because each of these definitions do have their good reasons. Yeah? in research and so on and so on. Yeah? So I'm going to show you a usual so-called automation pyramid. Yeah? But I just want to mention that this is not the pyramid. There are several versions out there yeah? which all have their own focus, let's call it. Yeah? So lowest level. Yeah? Lowest level if this is level 1 or level 0 or whatever, does not really matter. Yeah? Lowest level is usually the field level, called the field level. Field. What things are here inside? Yeah, there are sensors. There are actuators, switches, valves, things like this. Things which do switch, do work, do whatever. Yeah? It's the field level, simply. Yeah? And then, above this level, we do have an automation level, let's call it. Automation level. This automation level, the usual tool here is a PLC, Programmable Logic Controller. Yeah? So this Programmable Logic Controller, or maybe there are also control systems, electrical controls, hydraulic controls, pa 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 pa. Yeah? So control systems without feedback, maybe with feedback, doing, combining some of these field level elements. Yeah? Do a little bit measurement, do a little adjustment there and so on. Yeah? Automation level, automating, automating the, the field. Yeah? So this, this here is also sometimes combined. Yeah? Then this is called process level, and all those is sometimes called field. So this is in the field. Field level, process level, and automation level of the of the field. Then we have several 
automated systems somewhere. Yeah. Uh, and above these automated systems, I need something which is combining all those automated systems and make them one piece. Yeah. So this is then usually a process control. Okay. Above here. We have a process control. So we do have several process elements. Uh, this is usually this is what we understand under automation system. Yeah. Automating one process. Yeah. This is also called SCADA. SCADA system. Supervisory control and data acquisition. Yeah system. So watch, control and collect data. Yeah. This is usually here in this process control part. Yeah. If we do have a process or a plant which is containing more than one process, yeah. so there is one process running there, one process running there, one process running there, yeah. then I need to also somehow get all those processes under one hood again yeah and i have a plant control hmm? plant control which is controlling which is controlling several processes and tries to adapt them to each other. Yeah. So here the, the tools used they are called manufacturing execution system, mesh system, yeah. manufacturing execution system or manufacturing information system and so on. And the task which are running here, this is for instance queue management, quality management. Yeah. There is there is uh, uh, purchasing. Yeah. These are the things done here. Yeah. And above of all these, there is the enterprise level. Okay, here. Now it's I have a big peak. Yeah. Enterprise control. enterprise control. So this is if I have several plants somewhere located, I also need to adapt. I do a little bit here, do a little, do a little bit there. I do several stuffs. Yeah? Divide, try to control the plants that they are balanced somehow, yeah? like I wish or like somebody here on the enterprise control level wishes. Yeah? And this here is the ERP system, Enterprise Resource Planning. Yeah. In this direction, this direction, I have data collection. So data is generated in the field, on every level generated more data, and in the enterprise control, all the data is available. Yeah. And in this direction, it's planning. Yeah. Enterprise control does production planning. Here we have on plant control, we have production fine planning. Purchase planning, queue management planning and so on. Uh, here we have, we have uh, 
the planning the planning for the receipt or something like this yeah. so which process do I want to flow yeah so this is data collection and this is planning direction okay this is a usual hierarchical view of an automated system. Each level has their own challenges and their own tools. You see, enterprise resource planning, uh, manufacturing information system, or manufacturing execution system, automation system, uh, SCADA system. Here are some PLCs, electrical controls. And here we have the switches and the stuff which is really doing the work. So, and all in all, this should be some sort of concert. Yeah? So, every level has their own task, and every level is master in these tasks. Yeah? yeah. So, since we collect data here, yeah? the data... Where's the brown here? Brown color. Data density is increasing 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 data on every level I have more data available yeah on the field level if I'm a switch I can only know if I'm switched on or switched off yeah if I'm automated I know why the switch is turned off and on I do I know maybe some other things around this switch, yeah. So here is the data already more. The process controls knows more about all automation systems. The plant controls knows even more and adding additional information about purchasing key performance indicators and some quality management things and so on. Additional data, additional data. And in the enterprise control, I have all data about all systems in my in my area. Yeah? This, if there is a lot of data to process, it's relatively low. Yeah? Because if I have a lot of, lot of data available yeah, and a lot of data is influencing my, my decision process, yeah, then I really do have, I need to have spent some time that I make this decision process sensible. Yeah. So, if I look into speed, how fast the several things are reacting, it's the other way around. Yeah. Speed. Here on field level, we're talking about microseconds. Yeah. Here, or milliseconds. Here, we have some 10 milliseconds. Here, it may be already seconds. Yeah? Here, plant control, we're already more than 50 seconds and so on. And up at the top, it can be weeks until the decision is done. Okay? So, this are, the speed is increasing, yeah? reaction speed, on, because I simply have less data, less information to process. And if I have only one thing to watch it, I can react very fast on this. If I have a thousand things to watch it, yeah, I need a little bit time. It's clear, right? So this is how a control system, a hierarchical control system looks like. If this really stays that way, huh? because more and more sensors and actuators down here, they do get quite intelligence currently. Yeah? So the automated systems or the, the, the shrinking process of the, of the brains, yeah? of the computers, is very far developed. And so we have sensors out there which are really, really tiny and they can already do bus system communication. Yeah? Up to now, we had here parallel communication. Yeah? Parallel. Every sensor its own its own uh, wire, yeah? but now more and more bus communication is uh, is achieving. Yeah? 
is coming to us. Yeah? Input, output signals and so on. So maybe information about what to purchase and so on might get to lower, lower levels. Yeah? And if then all information is only in one level, yeah? then we have a distributed or we have some, we have this hierarchical approach. Yeah? We are non-hierarchical. Yeah? If a sensor can order lubrication because it senses there is too less oil somewhere, yeah? then, but we will see if this is really going that way. Yeah? If there is really somebody, I don't know, some sensor at the toilet ordering toilet paper. <laughs> I'm not sure. I'm not sure if this is the development. But we will see what the future brings. Right now, this is how usually an automation system looks like. Yeah? We have different types of communications, like the parallel bus communication. Here usually bus communication is done. Yeah? So here we have field buses, field bus. Here we have some networks. And also here we have we have networks, Ethernet or something like this. Yeah. Here. This is the communication type. So from networking, Ethernet networking, field bus communication, down to parallel communication, broad inclusion. Yeah. This this is how this looks like. Yeah? And we're going to talk about not only about control systems, we're only talking about also we want to go into, into the history so that we understand how these things are developing and that there is still developing ongoing. Yeah? It's not a fixed structure. Yeah? This is the important thing you should know. Automation systems. Yeah. Automated systems are used in a wide area of, of applications, of course. Yeah. And next video we're going to talk about which in which fields of application you might find automated systems. Yeah. Or how they are called there. They all have, according to the application, they all have the different names. This will then be in next video for this time. Thank you very much for listening. Goodbye.